what's up guys it's your boy clouds here and now we are back again with the new fruit review y'all asked for it so here it is so going right into it first thing we're going to go into is the move set which um for those of you who are unaware magma did receive a pretty big nerf this update magma and update 2 was absolutely broken as you guys know magma hound and update 2 block broke which was insane because it's a super fast move um really sometimes unreactable because it's so fast so yeah uh, now that we got that out of the way, I just want to say Magma is a bit hard to use in PvP due to that nerf. You kind of have to be uh, really smart with the way you use it. However, I will say, you know, upon common belief, people that are believing that Magma is bad in PvP now, you're wrong. It could still be good. You just have to be smart with it and you have to use it in a good way. You also have to be good at the other aspects of the game, like M1s and all that. Anyways, get into the moveset. Um, first move, honestly, the worst move on this entire moveset, it is Magma Swamp. Um, this move is just really slow, super reactable. You can be hit while you're in this Magma Swamp. Also, one thing to note is that the last hit of Magma Swamp, this little uh, jump animation right here, this does block break. Overall, a really bad move. It's super slow, super reactable. Like the startup time alone gives the opponent enough time to get away, you, you, if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. And not to mention, it's just really slow. You're never gonna be able to catch anyone in this unless they're in limping state. Uh, which is really the only time I would ever recommend using this. Next move is one move I would say it's actually pretty good. Um, magma Eruption. As you guys know, the uh, infamous Magma Eruption combo where you do Magma Eruption into Trident Pull and then 5M1s into Dash into Impale. Well, the, the, the issue here is that Magma Eruption is a really good move if you can land it. However, there's two ways you can counter um, a Magma user using Magma Eruption. One just hit me um it has a bit of a startup time right there as you guys can see giving you enough time to slide in an m1 and then it completely cancels the move the next way to uh get out of magma eruption is just simply gepoing so that combo every magma user likes to do five m1s into magma eruption it is easily avoidable all you have to do is just gepo after the uh five m1 combo and then you will not be hit by the eruption so overall it is really good however i noticed a lot of magma users try to just straight up fish for this which is what makes it super predictable. However, there is one way you can kind of uh, confuse your opponents and do a bit of a mix up. So instead of always doing the Magma Eruption combo after every five M1s, sometimes opt for the Shigan combo. And this will kind of confuse them and put it up for a 50-50 situation because they might think you're gonna go for Shigan combo, but then you end up going for the Eruption combo. That's just kind of uh, one way you can kind of mix it up. And instead of doing the Eruption combo every time, making you super predictable, you kind of give it a mix up. Sometimes you throw in the Shigan combo. Sometimes you throw in the Magma Eruption combo. Sometimes you don't even do both. Doing this will keep your opponent uh, confused and uh, they will have to adapt to uh, your play style. Also doing it this way will give you a better chance to land that Eruption combo. Overall, pretty good move. I would say one of the better moves since it's a block breaker. And this is a really only good block breaker because I don't even consider Magma Swamp a good block break. It, it sucks. Anyways, next move, Magma Fist. This move has a deceivingly um, small hitbox. Even though it's like right here, I'm pretty sure it will still hit you if you're right here. The hitbox is weird, but I, I often hit opponents with Magma Fist even though it's not even close to them. It is weird, but you can take advantage of that. Um, other than that, this move has pretty good damage, really high damage. However, it is really slow and uh, super reactable. So I would say use this move um, sparingly. So yeah, overall pretty good move, high damage. However, super reactable and uh, super blockable. So it is not the best move. However, you can you know you can uh, use it in different ways, so you can kind of like guarantee that hit. Um, now this next move is basically the same move except faster. As you guys can see, it is quite a bit faster than Magma Fist, and I think it deals slightly less damage than Magma Fist. I'm not sure on that about the damage, but again, this is a uh, pretty much um, uh, really blockable. However, since it is faster, your opponent might not be able to react as uh, quick as they would with Magma Fist. So I'm just going to use both real quick. You guys can see Magma Fist, Magma Hound, I mean, my bad, is a lot faster, you guys can see, um, than Magma Fist. So it is overall a faster move, but it does have a lot longer cooldown. So that is one thing to note about that. Um, that last move is the ult, which is honestly a pretty good ult. It lasts really long. Um, I'm pretty sure this would tear through even some Takai's because of how much damage it does. 
but overall this is a relatively easy ult to dodge um, you kind of just get bow maneuver around it you might get hit by a couple stray shots but i highly doubt you're ever going to get hit by all shots of magma rain it's kind of hard to land all of those because some shots just veer off and stuff like that so overall a really good ult but not the best ult so as for the moveset, um, it is a good moveset. However, one thing a lot of Magma users struggle from is being too predictable. And what I mean by that is since all of our moves are uh, blockable or easily avoidable, you kind of want to do try to do mix-ups like I was saying earlier. Uh, if you have like basic PvP IQ, you know, doing mix-ups should be easy, trying to trick your opponent, maybe do a fake, maybe make them think you're going to go for the eruption combo, but then you just end up going for emblems instead. I mean, really, there's a lot of ways you can get creative with uh, Magma to make it useful. And uh, honestly, I've been trying to take advantage of uh, Magma in PvP. Okay, guys, getting into just a quick match. We're going to do like one or two uh, PvP matches just to overall give some tips. So first of all, I would say the uh, best weapons you can use with Magma that benefit the most are definitely uh, Trident or Candy Cane. I noticed Trident and Candy Cane definitely help. Uh, magma the most because of the ways you can pair it together as you guys can see for this time i went for the impale and one easy combo you guys as, as i was uh, talking about you can do is uh the magma eruption into the pull and then bam that's an easy damage combo you guys can do right there and uh he, he is struggling to deal with it real quick let's see if he falls for that oh magma eruption's not off cooldown yet my bad let's see if he falls for it he did. So that is a completely blockable move. However, um, he wasn't aware that you could just either M1 or jump out of it, which is what I was saying earlier. You can kind of mix it up and take advantage of the fact that some people might not uh, react to that and use it that way. Another combo I want to try to show off is uh, the 5 M1 into uh, the fist, which we'll try to show off here. Let's see if we can land it. Let's go. It worked. Let's see if he goes for the eruption again. Okay, he actually reacted that time, and I'm glad he did so I can show you guys that it actually is fully reactable. All you gotta do is just jump out of it. It's not mod of hockey, and there's not really much I can do, except I can try to fish for that uh, magma eruption combo if I land on top of him with that, whenever it is off cooldown for you guys. As you guys can see, these moves are completely blockable, and this is where magma is really uh, kind of at its weak spot. So I can try to go for this. And he fell for that. Let's go for the impale. Jump over that. Let's use magma eruption since you can't see. And bam. So you guys can see a little bit of different ways you guys can use uh, magma. Kind of, uh, you can play either passive or aggressive by passive like you know kind of uh, play a little distance game or you can get in with the magma eruption um kind of similar to collier combo you can kind of jump above them and land down with the eruption and if they don't see it coming that's an easy eruption combo right there all right guys just another quick match this time we're going to be using candy cane instead so i can show you guys some of the combos you can actually do with candy cane so with candy cane you can lead the flash freeze into magma eruption let's see if this guy reacts to this Okay, he did react to it in time. But yeah, um, with this, you can actually pair up the flash freeze if you can land it with an easy, to land an easy magma eruption. So this does pair pretty well, I would say, with uh, magma, in my opinion. This time, let's go with for that. Also, the fast M1 speed of um, Candy Cane is good in general. Let's see if we can land a flash freeze. Okay, we missed that flash freeze. This guy's not using any of his fruit abilities, which is weird to me. We are kind of getting smacked up by him, though. Okay, he fell for it there. That first stuck off. We almost lost there. I ain't gonna lie to you. Another good thing with Candy Cane is you have Sweet Treat. Being able to heal is a nice attribute. So now that I'm kind of low, I'm gonna play a little bit more passive. And I'm gonna see if I can get him with a... Uh, magma eruption snipe so let's go from top okay i timed that a little weird let's try to go for that oh he perfect blocked that okay that's nice 
Grab the block back. He unblocked there, but that was a good match, I guess. So yeah, you guys can kind of see the different ways you can use Magu. Hopefully those uh, two matches gave you guys an idea for the kind of ways you can use Magu. You can kind of uh, catch your opponents off guard sometimes with the Magma Eruption combo. Sometimes, you know, let's say you're out of hockey, you can come up from top, use Magma Eruption that way, and get an easy Magma Eruption from that. Or, you know, depending on if you have Candy Can or not, if you can land a Flash Freeze, that is an easy Magma Eruption into Magma Fist combo, which is massive damage. So yeah, hopefully those two matches uh, give you guys an idea for the ways you can use Magma in PvP. All right, guys, so going into some of the strengths and weaknesses, I'm also just, this is also just gonna be the conclusion, um, just to pair it all together. So the strengths of this fruit, um, one, it has Water Walk, making it like really good for Sea Beasts. This is a really good fruit for Sea Beasts. Um, another strength I would say is the ability to have a lot of damage without having to put a ton of in, um, points in the Devil Fruit. This is an ability that Magma has pretty good. Like even if you don't have that much points in the Devil Fruit, you're still going to be dealing some pretty you know big boy damage. It is good for everything: dungeons, boss farming, ship farming, and Sea Beasts. So this is a really over all around fruit. So for those people who are interested in things other than PvP, this is definitely a good fruit to go for. So yeah, that is one thing that I felt I have to mention, even though this is mainly a uh, PvP review overall. Now let's get into some of the weaknesses. Um, Magma Swamp is a completely useless move. <laughs> I don't recommend using this at all in PvP, you're just gonna get punished. Magma Eruption is, while being a good move, having a lot of damage, easily avoidable and easily reactable. Due to the startup time on it, and it having no hyper armor, you can just interrupt me out of it, or just get bow away and I don't land it. Um, Magma Fist, slow, blockable, however, a good move if you can land it, good damage. Magma Hound, fast, however, again, blockable, but if you can land it, good damage. And Magma Rain, it's just an ult, um, you know, a good ult, however, it's hard to land all the moves, but you don't really need to land all of them, even if you just get a couple, that's pretty good damage, good burn damage. And it's quick to break, quick to break blocks, I ain't gonna lie, even can break some tech eyes, depending on how much points you have in defense. So, I mean, in conclusion, I would say this fruit is definitely a fruit you should uh, go for and eat because it is not just only a PvP fruit, um, it is good for everything in the game. But there are, there are definitely ways you can use this in PvP uh, and still be viable with it. You just kind of have to go for, like I was explaining earlier, some of those mix-ups. Uh, try not to be too predictable with your moves. Mix it up. You know, If you have Trident or um, Candy Cane, take advantage of having those two extra uh, moves and you know kind of mix things up. If you have uh, Rokushiki or even, even if you have Blackleg, you know, I've seen some uh, Blackleg Magu combos going around that even gives you more potential to mix up and do things that uh, kind of allow you to get in and uh, punish opponents. Other than that, Magu by itself though, is a pretty predictable fruit. Um, all of the moves being blockable and avoidable definitely is a weak side of the fruit. However, there are different ways you can use it um, to kind of improve those weaknesses. So I would definitely say this is a fruit you can get some success in within PVP. However, it is definitely going to be a fruit where it takes a skill to be good in where whereas in update two, you know, this was a brain dead fruit. You didn't even need skill to be good with this fruit. So, yeah, that's kind of some of my opinions on that. Um, let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. Overall, if I had to give this fruit a rating, I would definitely give it an eight out of ten because it's strong for everything. Um, the only reason it's not a ten out of ten because of the nerf from PvP. It is definitely a little bit on the weak side for PvP, but it's still a really good fruit. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we can all agree on that. It is a super good fruit for everything, and it's still good in PvP. You know, a lot of people that say it is bad for PvP now, I mean, you're wrong. Like, there are ways you can use it that, like, allow you to win matches in PvP. Let me know how y'all feel about this video in the comments, and let me know what uh, type of fruit review y'all want next. I don't know what fruit I'm going to eat next, to be honest, but I will be doing a fruit review on whatever fruit I eat next. So, yeah, it's me, your boy Clouds. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.